Hi guys, in this video we are going to talk about numbers. Numbers is one of the most important topic of your exams. If I talk about each of the exam in CAT, there will be 4 to 5 questions which are going to be based on numbers. CMAT 2 to 3 questions, NMAT 5 questions and SNAP 2 questions. If I talk about other exams like ZAT, again 4 questions in ZAT, 4 to 5 questions. Fine. So the overall, it's one of the most important topics. Equation, numbers, geometry. These are the more, most important topics. So this is one of the most important topics. And like numbers, you will not like equation. You will not see any of the common questions in the exam. So this is a common topic which most of the coaching institute are teaching you. So number three is LCM, HCF, uh, divisibility rules, power cycle, remainder theorems. These are the common thing which you normally people expect in the exam or they normally do but unfortunately in CAT especially nothing is coming out of this but all the remaining areas second last and second last digits remainder of the power a power, power of exponents Euler theorems Fermat theorem and number systems these are the main areas now where CAT have moved to if you talk about CAT these are your main areas if I talk about uh, CMAT you will get still get one to two question from here and one to two question from here Alright, so overall the the focus have moved from this to this topic because they know they are, everyone can solve these, these questions. So that's why they move the focus, especially in the CAD exam, from this to this. In CMAT also, especially last CMAT, the quant level of quant have literally gone up. So actually they have introduced a lo lo lot of questions which are based on this. So it will be a good idea for you to go through all these th all these things. Yeah. So that's the overall sco scope of the exam. So you have to do each of the things. Funny. So if you have joined us, there is a video available for almost everything in the list. Yeah. So please go through them so that you get well versed with the things. So if you have joined us in the classroom uh, program, don't worry. We already covered all of them. So these are the kind of a basics. So we'll be covered in the basic videos. These are the things which are normally up to the level of CAT and CMAT. So will be covered at the workshop level. So I divide them into basics and workshop. Here I'm going to give you a glimpse of what we're going to cover in the workshop. So let me start with the Vedic numbers. Vedic number is CET King's innovative uh, product where we have innovated everything. Vedic number is basically uh, breaking the things into parts. That's kind of if I try to uh, show the Vedic number in a one second answer is kind of a breaking down things into part. It can be breaking down calculations, it can be break down anything. Suppose you get a calculation like what is 11 into 12 into 13. Yeah, there is a lot of way to do that but calculation 11 into 12 into 13 is the last thing on earth you I want you to do. Fine. Vedic math, what does they say? First do this into this. To do that, obviously I know 11 into 12 is 132 but can I say it's easier to do 11 into 11 plus 1? What I'm doing is I'm breaking up this 12 as 11 plus 1. Yeah. So 11 to 11, 121. 11 to 1, 11. So 121 plus 11, 132. Your life becomes very, very simple. Suppose you have to do 12 into 13. All I have to do 12 into 12 plus 1, 13. Yeah, 12 into 12, 144 plus 12, 156. Simple. So now we have done this 11 to 11. This is 132, which is almost 13. Yeah, this is 132 by the way. So, 132 into 13. 13, 13 is 169. So, your answer is a little bit more than 169. How much more? 0 0.2 more. So, probably 0 0.2 more means 171 approximately. That's the beauty of Vedic Maths. Vedic Maths basically teaches you how to break down things into easy calculations. Alright. So, let me start with one example. So, I want to cover the example of A to the power N and B to the power 1 example. So, can you try to solve this question? a to the power n minus b to the power n. If you open up your books, you'll see a lot of formulas which are there on a to the power n, b to the power n. But here I'm going to give you one easy solution for that. No common, no no shortcuts in that, just using common sense. Fine, find the remainder when 30, 35 to the power 23 minus 20 by 23 divided by 12. Yeah. From today onwards, I'm sorry, today onwards, you're just going to check whether this is an odd number or an even number. The power is odd or even. The moment when the power is odd, all you do is replace this with 1. 35 minus 23. 12. 12 divided by 12. Answer is 0. Done. 10 second job. Trust me. Let, now let's keep a few more examples. So A plus N B1. It's always divisible by A plus B for all odd values of N. This is a rule here. And A minus B power N is always divisible by if it's an even number. Fine. So, if it's a plus value here, the last part, plus value is always divisible by odd. 
if it's if it's minus, then it's always divisible by a minus b if it's odd. If it's even odd, there are three different, four different formulas to remember. Now let, let's check, check out the formulas and try to use common sense when it comes to odd and even. Now let, let's take an next few example taking odd examples. Fine, it's always multiple by odd. All you have to do is replace by one. So this is five to the power one minus three to the power one, which is two. Two divided by five, remainder is. 5 second job, trust me. Second question, you don't need to remember many rules. Simple thing here, 1. 35 minus 23, 12, the question we just did earlier. Power is, answer is 0. Fine, now this question. This question sounds very, very challenging looking at the numbers here. At the moment, you see it's the odd value, 1. And 1 here. 325 minus 322, 2. 2 divided by 40, remainder is 2. That's all, done. Odd is very, very simple. Odd is a 5 second job, all you have to put is 1. When it comes to even, it's a little bit more uh, time taking. So let's talk about the even number now. Now we are talking about some cases where the even number. Now same question, I have changed it to even number. 35 to power 22, 23 to power 23, 22. Now the, for any number, now even, I have to make it 2. You odd, we make it 1, even we make it 2. So that is 35 square minus 23 square. Do you remember the formula for a square minus b square? This is equal to what? a plus b and a minus b. This means this have to be multiple of a plus b and a minus b. Same thing here in this case. This have to be a multiple of 35 plus 23 and they have to be a multiple of 35 minus 23. Fine. So 35 plus 23, total is uh, 58. Now this case is giving me another total here. This is giving me 12 here. But the moment of the 58 divided by 58, answer is 0. So there will be one case which is always 0. So uh, the other part also become 0. So answer remain 0. W what I did here is, is basically I'm making it squared. 35 square and 23 square. That, that's all. The game is over. 35 square means plus minus, so 35 plus 23, 35 minus 23. In odd, it was simple, it was directly this answer. But if I even number, you have to check for this as well as this. So there will be two cases possible when we are talking about even numbers. Alright, can you try the next question? 25 square, uh, 5 to the power 22 minus 3 to the power 22 divided by 7. Again odd even, so it will be plus and minus. So plus 8 minus 2. So when divided by 7 will leave me 2 is also remember, 1 is also remainder. So answer is both. Yeah, but obviously if 2 is there, uh, 1 is also covered. So obviously that will be covered. So I'm just giving an example here. This is not the uh, right question. Just made up the question to give you the example. Alright, can you try this question? Please pause the video and try it yourself. Fine, you look be you might look surprised that this is too easy question now. But it's the actual question of CAT 2004. Fine, trust me, 10 second job to solve this question. The moment I see 23, 23, odd, odd, I'll put 1, 1. Fine, 25 plus 15 is 38. 38 divided by 19, remainder is 0. See, you're taking 10 seconds to do a cat question. Next question, now this is a tricky question in 2002. Fine, so please pause the video again, try to do it yourself. Now the tricky part in this thing is, this is n also, So, but it's an even number, so I'll start with even first. 7 square minus 6 square. So a plus b, a minus b, 13 is one of the solutions. Now I want you to do it yourself, fine, because this was the latest CAD question, it's not that tricky, fine. Try it yourself and I'll give you the answer for this, answer is d donkey. Is all the things are valid. Yeah, that's why the CAD is uh, tricky. That's why all of the, these options you have to take care of. The moment you see all the all of these options in the answer, though you have to think twice before you answer the question. Alright, so we are going to cover all these topics using Vedic numbers. If you have joined us in the classroom program or online uh, program, fine, in which we will talk about the basics in the first few videos. And then we will talk about the shortcuts to do all these questions of using Vedic numbers. If you have seen here, I have not used any shortcut. I have not given any formula which you have to rectify and remember all your life. I have just given you common sense. The moment you see an odd number, put 1. The moment you see an even number, put 2. That's all. If the, the, the situation will get complicated when we add 3-3 three, three numbers. But as of now, the straightforward is very, very straightforward. 
All right. All the best. Now uh, you can join us if you have not uh, joined us. You can join us, but by uh, going to our site ctking.com. That's ctking.com, and the phone number which is given at the bottom. All the best. Thank you.